Hi, I'm Lewis, and uh, welcome to my first day here at Mercedes in Stuttgart. Um, keep your fingers crossed for the season. Hope it'll be a good year. Get positioned. Yeah, this is quite a nice little car. I feel great. It's lovely to be back in, um, in Stuttgart. I you know this is a, a place I've been coming for a long, long time. Um, I've been associated obviously with Mercedes since I was so young, 13, so 1997, I think. But um, yeah, it feels good. And this new car, it's, I just, it's the first time I've seen it. And it's, it feels, um, it's quite uh, responsive and it's quite elegant inside. It's, it feels very, um, it feels quite classy. I like it. It's got quite sharp brakes. And I hear this has the best aerodynamics as well. So um, I'm hoping this year they do the same in my car. We've seen lots of pictures of your fitness training on Twitter. How much physical preparation have you been doing to prepare for 2013? Um, I started training just after, um, just after Christmas, whilst I was in Hawaii. And, um, and then I've just been continuing that all the way through uh, January. And then I'll continue that all the way down to the first race. It's really important for me I find it's such a long, long season, so every year you try and uh, modify how uh, early you start and how much training you do so that you still have energy by the time you get to the first race and, and you, feel, you feel like your fitness is optimized. So, I, I mean, I've been doing it twice a day, six days a week, and I uh, feel fantastic. Especially as I was in the mountains, now I've come down, down back to kind of sea level. It's so much easier to breathe down here. When does work begin in earnest with the team? That started in December, so I already went to the factory and uh, had my seat fit. And then already from there, we, you know, I'd sat in, sat in the cockpit and I got to see certain things that I like and would like to modify if possible. So I've made quite a few changes uh, to suit me in the cockpit, so I feel quite comfortable with that. And then, to be honest, working with the guys I can't really have too much input until I've driven the car. So that's something I'm really excited to do. Fernando has already said he thinks you're going to be his strongest rival this season. For me, I, I feel I'm, I'm honored that such a great driver like Fernando would say something so positive about me. I think I, you know, I, I have the same comments about him. You know, I think he's one of the best drivers, if not the best driver here. And uh, so to have positive comments coming from his side of thing, I'd love to be racing him within this year, and I think that's obviously the target for, for myself and Mercedes. I think just take it one step at a time. You know, we've got to get in the car, we've got to try and develop as fast as we can. I've got to to get involved in the team and try to get build the team around me, and um, work closely with Nico to try and help the car uh, push in one direction. Well, the first target is to finish the race, get a podium get a win and then win more races and uh, and see where it takes us. Your links to with Mercedes go back a long way. What does the company mean to you? Well, Mercedes is it's like uh, it's like my family, you know. I've been with Mercedes uh, since I, yeah, I was 13 when I first started with Mercedes. You know, I've I've been very very fortunate to build build built really good relationships with everyone in the team been included in so many different events and experiences so I feel very much part of the Silver Arrows and now to, f to be back with them fully at 100% as, as a Silver Arrows driver it's, it's a real privilege because it's obviously such a prestigious brand. And how about representing more than a quarter of a million employees worldwide? Does it be an extra responsibility or extra pride? I'd say both because um, course there's a lot of people to, to be representing and it's as I said it's such a huge brand that's uh, already fantastic on its own I hope that I can just contribute to make it more successful than it has been um, in the past and um, you know there's always been so many great drivers over the years that have contributed to the success of the team uh, I just hope to to be in addition to that The story between British Grand Prix drivers and Mercedes is also a long one. Are there any of them you particularly admire? Uh, yeah, like uh, Sesteli Moss, Tiemann. I think was surprised to see just how many there have been over the years. But um, hopefully in many years to come, I'll be a part of that list of, and hopefully I've had lots of success. And how does it feel to be back in Stuttgart? I was back in Stuttgart last December, I think I came here. I came here to see 
Dr. Zetcher and to uh, and he was just there to, to we just had a small meeting just to welcome me to the team and because I hadn't seen him for a while you know, the first time I came was with Stars and Cars so I'd come every year with Stars and Cars and when I came here after we won the World Championship uh, with the mu museum when they brought the car here put the car in the museum which is fantastic I wouldn't say it's a second home but I'm very used to being here that's for sure What's your strongest memory from your time with Mercedes so far? Well, it has to be winning the World Championship, you know. It's, it, winning the World Championship is quite special. Mercedes uh, and McLaren hadn't won for some, some time, so to be able to give them that success, to be a part of that uh, leap in success for them was uh, you know, a real privilege. So I hope you like my first trip, and uh, keep your fingers crossed for the season. Take it easy.